My friend, my friend, Christmas holiday songs. Yay! This one is called Deck the Halls. I think you know it. I'm gonna give you a little interesting beat to do on the uh, the rhythm hand, and then as far as the uh, strumming, uh, the picking hand, we're gonna show a couple different variations that are gonna help you put a little bit of melody to it. Now, this is in the key of D. There are two sharps. One is F sharp and one is C sharp, meaning the third of D, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, G, A, B, C sharp, D, having those half steps needs to go between the three and four and the seven and one, or seven and eight, the resolution to the octave. So what we're gonna do is see the D major can be played at the fifth fret or down here. The notes inside the D major are the open D, the E, the F sharp, the G, the A, the B, the C sharp, and then the D again. Those make all the notes. inside of a D major scale. So the chords that will correlate with that are inside of the song. We do, however, have a couple of notes in here which are made into dominant. So our A major, if you're not familiar enough, A major has a A on our fifth string open, our D string is played at the second, the G is played at the second, and the B is played at the second, whilst the E string is played open, which is a weird chord because you got to do something kind of like this, whoop, where you're playing all three of those and uh, you're leaving the other ones open. So. This is a great chord because it takes the A major, but it gets rid of the A note, E, A, C sharp. In the key of A, we've got three sharps. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Get rid of the F sharp, G sharp, that is the sixth and the seventh, the minor sixth and the uh, major seventh. And we're left with just one of those sharps, the C sharp. So A, C sharp, and E is gonna be a major. If I wanna make that a dominant, all I do is add on that minor seventh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see by getting rid of the A, getting rid of the G sharp, which would make an A major seven, we get a G, or uh, an A dominant seven that incorporates that G note. Very different. A major, A major seven, A dominant. Nice, we're gonna look for that A seven in this song. Our other chord is going to be a B minor. We're doing a bar on the second fret and then we're gonna play what looks like our A minor just up at the third fret. Yeah, B minor, um, bar on the second. The only other chord inside this whole song, which we have not spoke about, is the F sharp minor. Now, if you can play the aforementioned A minor, you can move that horizontally to know what an E major is. And then if you take away the first finger, that E major becomes an E minor. And then we're gonna take our finger and switcheroo, which I like to call teeter-totter. So we're gonna take off that first finger that's on the fretboard. It's our second finger. Put our third finger where our second finger was on that B note, on the A string, second fret, and then put the pinky onto the uh, D string second fret to do the same chord that we just played, but it just has a different fingering. Then we're gonna scoot that up a whole step and bar the entire ta of the second fret. Now, those of you who are following along that are beginners, this might be a little hard, bar chords suck. However, once you start working the E minor, F minor, F sharp minor, G minor, G sharp minor, A minor, B flat minor, B minor, G, when you start working those up the neck, you will get better at them. And you can stop playing half chords like the F to start playing full chords like the F. Okay, here is the entire top of the song. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. La 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 It's got a weird rhythm there. I will actually sing the words so I'm not throwing you off. When we do D, deck the A7 with B minor to D, A, 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 D, 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 A, D, 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 A7, B minor, D, 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 A, D, 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 A, D, A, 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 D, 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 here's our F sharp minor. So from the D, bar the second fret, throw out the E minor, F sharp minor, right above it, play the A minor shape with the second fret barred and you get a B minor, A major, 
Throw up that E again, and then drop the third finger for an E7, and then right back to a flat A. Remember when you're doing it, the caveat is keeping that top E note open. And I know, it sucks, but you gotta do it, or else you'll never be able to play that A major. It's always gonna come out as a D major 7, and nobody wants that. So, from the top, one, two, you know what to do. Take the F sharp minor and B minor, F sharp minor and B minor, A, E, 7, A, back to the D, D, A, 7, B minor, D, here's our big finale, G, 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 D, A, 7, A, 7, D, now that last phrasing might seem weird, the reason being they're all downstrokes, meaning quarter, quarter, quarter. La 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 la. La 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 la. You can end it with a um, interesting note or you could just strum it all the way. La la la. ending i really enjoyed doing this video if you liked it too please thumbs up and throw something in the comment section and then um you know keep it friendly other than that look forward to the next how to play series aloha